Hello everyone, in this video I really want to discuss the recent hubbub that happened with Kyle Kashyyyk. I think it's really important because we should be defending people from the right, first of all. Yes, of course, not just because they're from the right, but because right now I feel like the left media, the mainstream media, they're not going to defend anybody from the right. So, I mean, when you have everybody from the right teaming up on one person, you have to say where things are crossing the line, what's going on, what's wrong too about this. I mean, I'm not 100% happy with the situation, of course, but hey, there's a lot to talk about. Kyle Kashu was the outreach director for Turning Point USA, but recently he stopped working with Turning Point USA because he has a lot going on. It has nothing to do with anything that has been released with, you know, the whole entire situation, what he said in the past when he was younger. Nothing to do with that at all. He just recently decided that he wanted to continue on and do something else. Kyle was also a survivor of the Parkland shooting over in Florida, so, you know, he experienced a lot of traumatic experiences back in the past when he was younger, especially right before he was even sending any of this, and after experiencing something like that, I think that could possibly change a person. I know that would change me as a person. Now, Kyle is in hot water because he had a few old text messages where he said the N-word, and I mean, I read them, it was really bad. Nothing that I've ever seen before, but still at the same time, he was younger, and a lot of people, a lot of conservatives, surprisingly, want to say that, oh, it doesn't matter of his age, it doesn't matter at all. He should have known everything at 16 years old. He should have knew exactly how to talk and how to make jokes. I mean, no, that's not how it's going to be. Okay. I talked literally about Chelsea Russell. I know she's from the UK, but she's like 14. She got arrested because she said the N-word, and she is referencing to rap lyrics. So if you want to literally have her country be like that, and you want to, you know, just go down that road, go ahead then, I guess. After she was arrested for saying that word, and she was placed with like all kinds of different fines that she had to pay for. Of course, her family had to pay for it, and I'm not sure if a 16-year-old has a job lined up right away. Some do, most don't, okay? So yeah, her parents probably ended up paying for that because of some lyric. And now the whole entire purpose of why Chelsea was even posting this lyric is because one of her classmates died, I think it was one of her friends, and they were 13 years old. They died, and then she ended up having like a racial label. But also at the same time, you see different rappers like Jay-Z use that different rappers use that and sometimes when you're younger you don't realize why it's bad to say that you really don't of course it's bad to say it but if you're younger sometimes when you hear it and you casually hear that in songs and you see people that are famous using that you might be like oh my gosh that's a cool thing to say maybe that's a cool thing to say maybe they do that and then they use that word because they see that all over the place Kyle has even made a statement lately saying that he's moved on from his callous and inflammatory behavior they had in the past, saying that he's a completely different person now. I mean, he never apologized, but me personally, I do not expect you to apologize to anything to the angry mob. I suggest actually that you don't apologize because you don't owe anything to the left. What are they going to do when you apologize? They're going to use that against you. They're going to use your apology against you and they're not ever going to forgive you. They're going to use your apology against you and then all of a sudden it'll just hit you and you'll be really pissed off about it. So don't apologize. I mean, obviously that's not for everything. If you completely screw it up, definitely apologize. Be the better person. But at the end of the day, if it's something very silly, like something that you said back in the past when you're like 16 years old, why even try Yet you see more and more conservatives come out demanding for apologies, demanding that if he doesn't apologize, they'll never forgive him, they'll hold a grudge over him forever, and, you know, basically say that, who cares, you'll always be the same person, you're always going to say the same things, right? But yeah, something that caught me off guard, I mean, I really didn't know this was going to happen, but apparently Laura Loomer decided to, you know, try to get his Harvard acceptance revoked and completely gone. She posted up the number for Harvard, told people to call Harvard and to demand that Kyle should not be there anymore. Instead, in Kyle's place, there should be a black student that really deserves that instead. 
really deserves to be in Harvard. It's someone that is black instead of Kyle. Of course, that makes total sense. So then I definitely wanted to start reading the whole entire chat that Laura Loomer sent to everybody because I feel this is very important. Now, I think this is on Telegram or it's on another app. I'm not entirely sure, but what it is on, I'm sure I can see it later on, but hey, I mean, whatever. Let's just read what we have right now. So this is from Martina. She spread it out to everybody. Then afterwards, Ian Miles Chung He also retweeted that and a lot of other creators to get the word out. So that's how I saw this. I saw it on Twitter originally. Now, what she started out saying is, I honestly think his acceptance in Harvard should be revoked. There are kids who work their ass off and don't use a depth of 17 people as a resume holder and kids who don't call black people N-word who deserve to go to Harvard. I'd much rather see a poor black student get Kyle's position at Harvard. In fact, I feel so strongly about the N-word that I'm going to personally contact Harvard and let them know as a conservative. I condemn Kyle, and they should too. Join me in telling Harvard to give Kyle Kashub's admission spot to a hardworking black student instead. Lots of black conservatives out there who would love to have an Ivy League education, so let's make it happen. First off, mentioning race like that is so annoying. If you want to mention white versus black all the time, it's ridiculous. It literally is. Like, okay, you are starting something there that does not need to be there. Especially as an American, I mean, I'm like, okay, this is ridiculous. We're literally living in a melting pot. Everybody is on the same team, but you have to be like that. Why? Then afterwards, Laura Loomer is not done yet. Apparently, she needs to send a screenshot of Harvard College. Now, there's the numbers available for anybody to call and also the address down below. So, I don't really get any of that. Like, okay, when people are mad on the internet, they'll start Googling things about somebody and try to use that against them. Like, oh no, we know your phone number, your house, or where you work, or your friend's house, or where your friend is, or... Like, whatever. It's basically blackmail. So, who cares? Seriously. If somebody does that to you, say, I don't care. Who cares? Get another phone number. Get another freaking, like, you know, license plate or something if you need to. It does not matter. People are crazy. And if you ever want to just try to bow down to them, it's not going to be a good look. You have to be there for yourself. Because look at how these people are behaving. Look at how they're acting. It's not rational. It doesn't make any sense at all. It's very weird. Now, if you're asking me, due to the situation, due to such a little word that he used and just being so overdramatic about it, I think that a lot of conservatives are bored and they don't have that much news to talk about. Therefore, they're also trying to throw somebody under the bus to create some sort of drama factor because apparently drama is a good, you know, little niche for other people to use. A lot of people use drama and they use that to try to get more viewers. So therefore, they're trying to use that with Kyle, of course, and something that I do not like, something that I think is very disgusting, is that people are carrying it on. But hey, if it happened to you, when people are complaining about being censored, which I've been censored in many different ways, not very severely, like a lot of different major public figures or anything like that, but I have been censored, okay? And people like that, they get mad, but then they go on and talk about Kyle, and they talk about little mistakes that he made back when he was 16 years old, and they bash on him to get extra views, because they know that the drama's gonna get the extra views. It's really lame. It's really self-explanatory to think about what the Democrats are doing to us right now and the position that they're placing us in, and then all the drama that we'd have to deal with the conservatives about, seriously, it's stuff like this, about somebody, like, okay, any conservative, hey, if you ever said anything bad when you're a little, you better give it up right now because they're going to hold your past over your head forever, like, literally, What kind of world is that? Do you want to live in that kind of world? No. So, like, right now, just because the internet is existing, because a lot of people are going crazy over it, for all these kind of little power honey, or hungry crabs, not honey, 
the hungry little crabs, power hungry. They're going ridiculously crazy over it and trying to get whatever they can from it. So therefore, yeah, you're seeing a lot of drama with it and it's really crazy. Anyways, I believe that people make mistakes and that they should make up and move on. There's absolutely no reason to be taking anyone's college assumptions away and doing that. I mean, that doesn't make our country free at all when you're trying to take something away from somebody for what they said. And also Laura Loomer, because definitely that's a reference in what she was talking about, I would want to say is that you can't go to just like Jack Dorsey's home and try to get away with that, but at the same time, defend Tucker Carlson, which I did, of course, because I think that you shouldn't go to Tucker Carlson's home or Jack Dorsey, but okay, listen up. So, okay, Laura Loomer goes over to Jack Dorsey's home, but the majority of us, of course, are, you know, definitely not okay with Tucker Carlson's home getting targeted. Now, that was in a violent way. I know that was with people trying to break down his door and whatnot. But at the same time, she is invading his privacy and it's illegal. She could technically go on the sidewalk because she's not making any noise. But she kind of was making noise in her last video. Technically, yeah, she was making a lot of noise. And legally, you can't do that stuff. So in the video that was actually still breaking the law, and I'm not trying to be, like, a lawyer or anything, but, yeah, okay, if you have, like, a video and, like, a police, they're, like, turn it down, you don't turn it down, uh, there are rules with protesting, the rules are that you cannot try to avoid a lot of people in public, okay, let's say you're protesting, there's a lot of people walking by, you can't just start, you know, trying to get in fights with them or try to argue with them or annoy them or whatnot and trying to ruin their day. But there's a lot of other things that you can do. So, you know, there's a lot of different rules involved with protesting in general. But yeah, going back to the incident that would happen with Tucker Carlson, also Jack Dorsey revolving around Laura Loomer just entering his home. I mean, not really entering his home, but entering, you know, his property, his driveway, all of that, right? His personal space, technically. I mean, if he wants to drive out and try to get away, she'd probably, you know, end up filming him or something like that. So it's not that comfortable to have in the end. And of course, I mean, that's why he probably ended up banning her, you know, fan page or whatever. It started streaming something that night. I'm not exactly sure what it streamed, so I want to say something. And what I believe is that was the original stream of when Laura Loomer was at Jack Dorsey's home, which is even crazier. On that note, I'm going to head out, but there's a lot of videos on my channel if you want to go check them out. I'll have another video coming out very shortly, so I'll check you next.